Welcome back, everybody. It's time again for more Fallout London. In our last episode, we completed everything aboard the submarine and had a great time doing it. What a star! God. I did it the last time. Anyway, what a story. That was a whole lot of fun. But I think it's time we get back on track. It's time to head to the ferryman and Archie who are waiting for us just over here. Shouldn't be that far of a walk. Look at that, 90 meters. Let's head that way and see what we can find. Ferryman Dock House. Is this the ferryman's house? Huh. I wonder if we're gonna come back here. Let's check it out while we're here. Mm. Oh, barnacle. I've seen those before. I don't want to get spat upon. Ah, what's what's getting me? What's getting me? Something's getting me. We've got a hollow tape, Ferryman's Dream. Boy, well, souls and mongrels. This is a ferryman speaking. You know, I've been sailing these murky waters for what feels like an eternity now. Burying folks to and from places I can barely pronounce. But lately, I've been having this recurring dream. And it's got me pondering some strange things. You see, every night when I lay my weary head down on that creaky bunk in the back of his shack, I close my eyes and dream of something different. I dream of setting sail on a ship with a bow so sharp it could cut through the thickest fog. I dream of a sea, nor is a barrier, but as my true home. It's not just any sea, mind you. It's a sea that stretches beyond the horizon, where the water's clear as purified water, and the depths hide secrets is all this time. And in this dream, I'm free from the chains of Greenwich and that cursed underwater labyrinth that's got his grips on me. You might wonder why oh, I'm stuck here ferrying folks across the Thames even with my heart aches for that endless sea. It's because of that cursed Tim's Haven. That's why. They say it's my home. Down in those station tunnels. Deep beneath those waters. But all I've found is a never ending struggle. But in my dream, I'll sail above this station. The ancient wreck of Greenwich and the forgotten city of London and go into distant ways. I'm at peace under the sea where I belong. So here I am in this decrepit shack contemplating my dreams. Perhaps someday I'll find a way to break free from these chains and head out to the open sea. Until then, I'll keep ferrying souls, hoping that one day my dream becomes reality. And as I dream of the boundless sea, <laughs> No, I can't help but think. Why is the room always gone? 
Ha ha ha! Where's the answer to my dreams? The elixir of freedom. Just waiting for me to raise a toast to destiny. Wow, holotapes in this game are really, really long. I believe that uh, that Why Is the Rumble Always Gone was a Pirates of the Caribbean reference. I wonder why he feels chained to Thames Haven. Uh, we learned when we were there that he's not even a real member of the town. He sort of comes and goes. Maybe he thinks it's his duty to protect the people of Thames Haven. Perhaps we'll learn more when we reunite with him. Also, I wonder if he could become a companion. Maybe that would help him feel uh, a little bit better. Danny Boy, oh no. We've collected a copy of Danny Boy by Camilla's Choice. <laughs> oh, Danny Boy, the pipes, the pipes are calling. At the very beginning of the game, <laughs> that trait that teleports me whenever, well, not whenever, but sometimes when I sleep. Where am I? Oh, I'm all the way at Butler's Wharf? Okay, that's not too bad. <laughs> that's not too bad. I was, I was there. There's the ferryman's dock house, and I, I teleported over here. Okay. Well, uh, I could always just fast travel back. What is this place that I've landed? With the weird graffiti on the wall. I don't remember seeing this when we came by and explored Butler's Wharf. Well, it's a nice little uh, respite place. There is a location down there that I haven't explored yet. That leads back down towards Tower Bridge. I wonder if the cannibals have respawned. What is this building to the left? I walked right through here and I didn't discover it when I was here last time. Maybe I needed to go through here. City Hall? Is, is it that? No, it's over here. City Hall. Oh my God. <laughs> Listen, I, <laughs> I'm always getting sidetracked. Oh, look, protests. Look at that. We've got protesters outside City Hall with picket signs and everything and here they died on the morning the bombs dropped. Right next to the Thames. Well, I'm sure we'd learn what they were protesting if we went inside City Hall. But look, I've been trying to reunite with the ferryman for like three or four episodes now. Between the Butler's Wharf and the Tower of London and the, this Tower Bridge, and then we got the, the U-boat. <laughs> I move five feet and I get distracted. So I'm gonna focus, I'm gonna focus. Well. That was an interesting thing. I'm glad we got the trait to uh, trigger. Wait a minute. Oh, that's the, uh, yeah, that's the miscellaneous quest. But I'm just gonna fast travel back to the ferryman's dock house and walk the two meters to the left <laughs> to meet Archie. I was so close. Okay. Well, I would sleep until morning, but, uh, <laughs> why did I choose that trait? Oh my god. Alright, 
let's wait until morning. Okay, and it's daylight. Right, so, they should be right over here. Right in there, maybe? Guys, I made it. I know it took a while, but I'm here. Guys? Guys? Put you in their shack. Oh! Oh no, they're in the boat. Alright, well I want to see what's here. Another bed. Fishing poles. Not much. And a lot of gas. Okay guys, I'm coming. Where am I? Oh, how many more times must you reboot me? Hold in there, friend. You'll be as good as new. I feel violated. All right. One more reboot. Now. You made it! There you are. Do me a favor and send out a signal on that beacon up there. Beacon? Up where? It's over there. Oh, oh, okay. Well, what is that? That looks like one of the Upton Burke robots we saw in the, uh, in the headquarters in the last episode. What is he doing with one? All right, well. Mariner Beacon. Uh, there you go. Try switching on your navigation system. Navigation systems online. <sighs> Did it work? Yes. Well, don't sound too enthused. Well, what was all that? I hope the journey wasn't too formidable. Getting over the Thames is no easy feat without a vessel. I mean, we just found a few cannibals. That wasn't too bad. Who's your robot friend? What happened? This is Barry. My dear seafaring friend. A flock of pigeons laid a nest in his circuits. They washed up on the rocks. I'm not sure which happened first. So what do those beacons do? Barry's navigation data corrupted. Had to be wiped. Those mariner beacons transmit the data he needs to sail between places. Acting as a kind of waypoint. Without them, he'd be bobbing around aimlessly like a jellyfish. There's quite a few beacons along the Thames. So about that underground laboratory... We retraced the boy's steps while searching for spare parts for Barry. It's not far up the road. The entrance is beneath that old monument. The tall one with the golden urn atop a pillar. From what I've heard, it was built to commemorate the first great fire of London. Did you go in? No. We kept a fair distance. Do you want to come with me? I'm in no condition to fight. Besides, I have a friend to take care of. I'm not ready to go back there. That place was horrible. How many great fires of London have there been? Three. There was the original. That was before the war. Then there was the war. That was the second one. Then we had another one 50 years ago. And that's it for now. <laughs> the boy knows his history. There was another Great Fire of London 50 years ago. Okay. I hope we learn more about that. Well, thanks. I'll be on my way. Wait. Those people I was with. They're the closest thing I have to family. Please rescue them, or find out what happened. If you do, I'll know where that ghoul was headed. The one I escaped with? He might be able to help you. He said he knew about other labs. Here's that key the boy swiped. Good luck. Monument hatch key. Okay. Uh, well, you talked about other beacons. I wonder, is that like... An optional quest objective? 
Yeah, activate Mariner Beacons. But they're not marked, so I have to just stumble upon them. All right, well, I wonder what happens if I do. Explore the Monument Lab, that's really close. It's just uh, north up the road. All right, well, do you guys have any further dialogue before I go? Talking to people is the best way to find out what's what. How about you? Ah, oh, hello there, human. No! Right. Okay, <clears throat> well, let's see. Uh, 63 meters that way. Oh, okay, well, that's a... That's a big golden monument. That commemorates the Fire of London? I have a feeling there's gonna be baddies here. Let's see. Oh no. What is that? A cyber pigeon? What the heck is a cyber pigeon? Seven, come on! It bled. It's bleeding. It's part machine, part actual pigeon. And I can't loot it. <laughs> cyber pigeon. Oh. Is that like a Doctor Who reference? The Cybermen? But pigeons? All right, are there any more cyber pigeons? <laughs> what the heck? King Arthur is a little biatch, and Merlin is a dumb name. Thanks, Banksy. Or maybe that's a reference to a faction. Th that's right, one of the factions was like a Arthurian faction, weren't they? Discovered Monument. Oh, this is gonna be so cool. Oh, I'm so excited. Hey, it's one of those Fallout things. Let's loot. Let's go around and see what we can find. Holotape, the silent streets. The city's an eerie graveyard now. No life, no laughter. Just the haunting echoes of what was. We tried to maintain order, to protect those we could, but. It's a losing battle. I fear the darkness that shrouds London now is a darkness that will never lift. Every step through these abandoned streets, it feels like a painful march into the void. A void that swallows not only the present, but also the past. Leaving only the emptiness of what might have been. Well, very poetic. Well, uh, I'm uh, having a... Um withdrawals because I'm addicted to cigarettes. So let me take a cigarette real quick. Whoa, we've got some really interesting graffiti all about the place. Try to leave and boom, a door on the other side of irradiated barrels over there and a door there. Right, into the monument. Let's go around here real quick. Hey! Better armor. Agent Smythe is at your service. Whoa, hey! That's our first reference to Agent Smythe outside the last lab we were in. All right. Let's go. Huh. Wow, that was two loading screens. Interesting. Ooh, oh no, are those all active? Yeah. Crap, crap. It's a freaking shooting gallery. Down we go, behind the stairs, nothing. Let's turn left real quick. Ah! 
That was the swan scream from Swan's Pond in Fallout 4. You can tell because he, he literally says swan. <laughs> uh, okay, well, does that mean we've got a swan here? <laughs> or is it just meant to be a big screamy noise? Well, I'm avoiding those uh, machine... Uh, uh, uh. I mean... Do they not see me or am I just hidden? I don't want to open fire and wake all of them up because this, this would be a nightmare. Or maybe it's a situation where I have an opportunity to get rid of them now while they're quiet and I should probably take it. Uh, I don't know what to do. God, I, I regret smoking cigarettes now. I'm addicted. Let's see what's in here. And another door. Oh. Okay, small lab with a terminal. Well. Oh, a body. An eviscerated body. Advanced lock terminal? Come on, man. Well. Doggone it. At least we're gonna find out what it says. Hey, a cute Thulu. Lying in bed. Not a lot of loot lying about. All right, let's, uh, let's see what it says. HR Log 1. This month's been adequate for the HR department. We've delivered on all subject requests. The scientists haven't once run out of street urchins or vagrants to experiment with. On the other hand, we've struggled to actually find new scientists. We may have to resort to recruiting the more sane variety. Log 2. The director managed to snatch up scientists from other labs. They were not pleased about it. This place has a reputation, even in angel circles. Their concerns are unfounded. The rules here are lax, as intended. It's a researcher's dream. Log three. We managed to collect a new batch of degenerates. Scavengers, I think. No one will miss them. They even had a child with them. And a ghoul. The DNA engineers will be pleased. Hey, that's Lazarus and Archie. I wonder if the other scavengers are still alive. Log 4. One of the new scientists is working on a new cloning technique. The director says it has potential. I've moved a security clone to his room. I wouldn't want the brain doctors to get a hold of him. So, cloning. Okay. They do cloning here. Log 5. The director has been displeased with me ever since those two subjects escaped. Like most humans, he's blind to reason. The value of the scientists is much greater than that of the subjects. Like most humans? What exactly is the nature of the person writing in this terminal? Is he not human? And we have an option to disable the turrets. <laughs> Which I won't take since I couldn't get in there. Uh, that one's ruined. Portable ashtray. That looks nice. What's, that's not an ashtray. Is that a watch? Oh, it is. Oh, it is. That's an ashtray. That's a portable ashtray. Interesting. Scrap item. Okay, well. That room had lore. Cool. But it sounds like those turrets could turn on at any moment. However, they're leaving me alone for now. And we have a huge, sprawling lab to explore. Down to door two. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. Oh, oh, it's a bathroom. Okay, it's just a bathroom. Thought it was a big, deep hallway. Nope, just a bathroom. And the stalls are empty. Okay. Churchill. Right. Well, that leaves one door on this side left to explore, and it's already open to us, and it looks like an important place. I think that's where we're gonna have to go. 
could be wrong, of course, but I'm gonna save that for last. Let's explore the rest first. Oh, wait a minute, that... That door's chained. We came from there, right? Yeah. Well, maybe that's where we need to go. It's at the top of a staircase. Um... Uh, okay, I tell you what, I'll risk it. Let's go back. Oh, it's just a reactor room. Oh. Let's see if there's anything interesting. Ooh. Hey, terminal. Oh. Can't interact with it. And a dead end. Okay. Well. The left wing explored. I guess that was the southern wing. Southern wing explored. Uh, let's go to the northern wing. Oh, wait. No, that's where our quest marker's sending us. Okay. So let's go to the western wing. Oh, man. I am dancing with fire here. What will I do that triggers all of these turrets? <laughs> okay. Uh, let's go in here. That's a lab. Look at all these dead scientists. Well, this happened recently, whatever it was, because they were alive when Archie and uh, Lazarus arrived. But now they're all dead. Hey, a, a terminal, all right. I can actually access this one without, um, access this one without using console commands. Experiment 13A. The first experiment on Project Theseus was a resounding failure. The subject died almost immediately. After successfully removing the left arm and soldering the prosthetic one, subject entered cardiac arrest. I told Barry we needed more lidocaine. The fact that we have to keep them awake makes this so much more difficult. Barry? Either that's an Alan Wake reference, or he's referring to the robot that was the ferryman's friend. That robot in the boat was named Barry. Experiment 13B. The second experiment somehow went even worse. We had barely removed the subject's left arm when it happened. We can't even work out why they passed. They must have literally died of shock. Stinking jerk. Wow. Experiment 13C. Okay, things are looking up for Barry and me. We managed to do all of the limbs and even a couple of organs. Subject died after a dodgy incision in the left ventricle. To be fair, that was probably on us. There's no way the subject could have survived that. 13D. Stinkin' ka -ching. We finally have the answer to the age-old question, when is a human no longer a human? When you systematically replace every part of their body, that's when. The brain was tricky because you can't just replace the whole thing. That would be pointless. We had to do it bit by bit. I hope the director is happy with these results. Ha! Huh. So maybe the person who was writing the terminal entry talking about humans as if they were other was a person who had been replaced bit by bit. But why? What's the purpose? 13E. Turns out the director wanted one final experiment. He asked if I could do it alone, and I said yes. First of all, for the record, Barry was a stinking champ about it. I could tell he was really trying to stay alive for me. Annoyingly, he passed away during the brain stage, which is very unfortunate. The director was furious. Hopefully I won't be some other scientist's lab rat in a few days. So Barry was a scientist who was helping this guy, but then they must have run out of test subjects, so he was asked if he could do the procedure alone so that they could use Barry, the other scientist, as a test subject. Apparently, Barry was a champ about it. He was okay with it, but he ended up dying. But if the experiment was to replace biological body parts with synthetic body parts, maybe he didn't really die. Maybe he was discarded and then woke up later in a trash heap like Nick Valentine did. If that's the case, then the Barry in the ferryman's boat could be the same Barry who was experimented on here. I guess we'll find out more later. Well, geez, human remains, no thanks. You can keep them. Coal ore, 
No, oh, Fox. You can keep them in. It's a dead cat. This has got dead everything here. Lots of dead cats. Three dead cats. E a human arm. Well, gross. Okay, that's it for this one. And still the turrets are not firing on me. That's good. Well, let's go over here. Advanced lock. All right, I can actually do this one. I'm gonna crouch down. I'm hidden. It's a private office. What's he holding? There's something in his hand. I can't interact with it. Oh, it's for the pneumatic tube. It was a message, but I can't read it. But we do have a terminal. Let's read the terminal. Re-concerns. These concerns of yours are entirely unwarranted. Your enthusiasm for efficiency is admirable, but misguided. Truth be told, I have labs filled with nothing but clones. And they do indeed work more efficiently and consistently. They are even more successful most of the time. So why, you ask, do I keep the Monument Lab up and running? Those lunatics, as you call them, have something the clones don't. Creativity. Some incredible things have been discovered in the lab you're sitting in. All of your predecessors had the same concerns. All of them changed their minds. You will soon regret complaining about such trivialities as efficiency. The fact that most of the scientists are mentally unstable is indeed no coincidence. You are correct. A benefit of using clones is that they have no boundaries. They are willing to do the unthinkable. These men also have no such boundaries. P.S. If you're worried about your own safety, don't be. The researcher clones usually stop them from getting too out of hand. S. For Smythe. So the guys who were chasing Archie with uh, no expression on their faces, perhaps clones? Retransfers. If you are indeed losing scientists faster than you can recruit them, I will transfer some over from another lab. This is not a permanent arrangement. Expect them tomorrow at noon. P.S. If I find out, as I suspect, that you've been culling them on purpose in order to subvert my lab's goals, you're finished. S. Recloning method. Being able to produce clones without vats would indeed be useful. I will await further updates. Vats? Oh! Do we got FEV going on here? Oh, no. Draft. I want a bigger office. Dear esteemed master, I know we haven't been on the best of terms lately, but I would like to put in a request for a much larger office space. I live in what can only be described as a glorified broom cupboard. It hardly suits my rank, don't you think? Sincerely, your most faithful director, who can't even spell deer correctly? And he's a scientist? Okay. Well, that's concerning. Antiseptic. That's not gonna cure my addi addictions. Right, um, we've got more labs down this way, it looks like. God, what happened here? Lots of people in uniform cowering behind all of these barricades. The turrets must have all just turned on at once. Oh, thought I heard something. Ooh. Nope, looks clear. Terminal requires key. Hmm. Cages. Master lock. Can't open that. That's already open. Oh, that door smashed that guy. Lots of filth everywhere. Is it going to be like in the sub and the key is just laying out somewhere and I just walk right by it? 
Morse telegraph. All right, terminal. Uh, okay. Activate, activate. Uh, I cannot activate. More pneumatic cylinders. Yeah, I can't activate that terminal, huh? Lots of pneumatic cylinders. Well, don't see the key yet. Maybe we get it in another room. Maybe we have to come back here after we explore that other passageway. Oh, dude. <laughs> he died while at work. Lo love those glasses, by the way. Spectacles. Hey, they don't take the place of my cigar. Nice. <laughs> Looking good. Well, no idea what kind of weird machine this is. It's got rollers as if it was a conveyor belt, uh, but then operating arms as if it did surgery. And here's the operator, and then big tubs of chemicals. What? What is this purpose? Weird. All right, up here. The last section. And it looks like it's just containers. Hey, Ion Brew. All right, more spectacles. Chocolate bar. Hmm. All right, that's it. Uh, well, I looked for the key. Um, I didn't find it here, but uh, I'll keep an eye open as we continue to explore. Frustrated that this terminal can't be interacted with, but we'll come back for that one. Right, out we go. Okay, that leaves one path available, and that's down here and to the left to go north. More dead grunts. Okay, up we go. As soon as we, we remove this chain, they're gonna all turn active, aren't they? I'm gonna hard save here just in case. Oh, oh, I don't wanna enter this room, no. No, 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 I do not want to enter this room. Uh-uh. Oh, as soon as I enter this room, something bad is gonna happen. <laughs> Okay, all right, well, all right. All right, completed, investigate the noise, find a way to open the door, requires terminal. Okay. Well then maybe a key is on the ground. I have looked at every single one of these skeletons and I have not found a key, but it looks like it's marked for me. Oh no, did I really walk right by it? Did I really miss it? Is it back in this lab? And I just walked right by it. Yeah, that lab on the other side. What? What? Really? Oh, now I can access this terminal. Okay, so it didn't have anything to do with the key. Well, that's why I couldn't activate it earlier. I hadn't triggered that scene yet. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, try again. Turn on the power. What? I, I activated the terminal, but... I can't actually use the terminal. I'm just going from quest marker to quest marker now. All right, touch the terminal, touch the chain. What do I get to touch now? Well, it's over here. Oh, the reactor room. Touch the reactor. Oh no, this is gonna turn on all the turrets. If turn on the power, it's gonna turn on the turrets. Ah, I just realized. Okay, I'm gonna let's see what happens if we take them all out. <laughs> Before we turn the power on, I really don't want to die. Yeah. 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 Are they invincible until I turn the power on? Yeah. Yeah. They're invincible until I turn the power on. Cheap, come on, cheap. You give me this big place and you give me all of these wonderful clues as to what's about to happen. I predict what's gonna happen, but I can't act preemptively. Oh man, as soon as I turn this power on, they're all gonna turn active and I don't even have a laser weapon. Ugh. 
Unlock the door. Rap. <laughs> uh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong and they don't turn active. I'm not wrong. I can attack them now! But they're not hard. They're not difficult. And I'm gonna get a ton of ammo from these. All right, maybe this is a blessing in disguise. But now we gotta go down this gauntlet. It's just, I remember what those ceiling mounted turrets did to me in the Upton Burke headquarters and they were brutal. All right, I think we got one more in there somewhere. Oh, two more. They're too far away to hit me now. I can just sit back here. Yay, sniper rifle. All right. Wreckage. Wreckage. Any more turrets? Now, that should... Oh, I see. Oh, I get it now. Okay, so I found the terminal. I couldn't access the terminal. That's why I needed to go turn on power. It had nothing to do with getting into that one. Turn on power, now I can access the terminal. Gotcha. Uh, okay, so we could unlock the contamination room. Let's read these logs first. Log, why? Why did they have to send me here? Everyone knows this is where Smythe sends all the crackpots and lunatics. The other scientists are an absolute nightmare to deal with. I need to get out of here. I need to prove myself. I need to do something big. Coworkers. My coworkers are stinking sadistic. They insist on using human subjects. And when human resources can't snatch people off the streets fast enough, they experiment on each other. Crap, they'll probably experiment on me soon. Sludge! Eureka! Flash cloning will soon be a thing of the past. My new method is faster, more efficient, and you won't even need vats. Just chuck some sludge on the ground and you'll grow a fully-fledged super soldier in seconds. Though, you'll probably want to give them clothes first. Director. The director was very interested in my experiments. I've bought myself a couple of months at the very least. I actually have security protecting me now. Crap. I may have been overconfident in my abilities. I haven't once been able to recreate the moderate success of that initial experiment. I thought I'd have a working solution by now. That's what I told the director at least. I'm so screwed. I need to do something drastic. I'll increase the potency of the sludge compound. And we can unlock the contamination room. So. They're creating clones. They need vats to create clones. But using vats takes a long time. One guy came up with a sludge that you toss on the ground and it turns into a human. But he couldn't get it to work. Is there really no key card in this room? I'm inspecting all of their hands. The problem is it could have fallen to the ground and then it's lying in this rubble somewhere. I mean, based on this corpse here, I'd, I'm guessing that's him. <laughs> the guy we read about on the terminal. But I wonder what happened to all of the people here. All right, well, let's explore the contamination room or the decontamination room, see if we find a key. And if not, well, I'll keep looking. Here we go. Okay. Hidden, hidden, hidden. Ah! And I'm dead. And I'm dead. A one-hit kill, of course. 
Oh, is it going to be like ghouls? Do I go for the legs? <laughs> oh, no. Do I have to kill all the turrets again? Daggone it. God. Right, well, uh, I guess I'm gonna have to use a ton of chems to get through this and heal myself. Probably shouldn't be walking around as damaged as I am. Right. Okay, quick save here. Let's see what we can do. Cigarette, let's get rid of uh, my rads first. Let's heal on up. Think I'm gonna try the submachine gun. Let's try Codfather and painkillers. Sprinter's hooligan left leg. Nice. Clone meat. Ugh. Shock electric prod. 36, 25, very slow. Well, it's way more powerful than my mace. It's double the, the damage of my mace, but uh, it's very slow. Still, I'll take it. Whew. Worse, but that speed bonus might be worth it. Churchill, I gotta drop off some stuff. Okay. Let's get a closer look at this guy's super clone experiment. Damn. He's got an iron jaw. I'm definitely seeing some FEV in there, at least I think. Hey, lots of books in that container, but... Cigarettes. Oh, I'm hearing something. Oh, was that you, Churchill? All right, let's see what's down here. Terminal. Commando knife. Seppuku. 17 fast. Not nearly as good as my mace. Ah, garbled. Is proving to be a viable asset. Behavioral training, false memories, improved significantly in the field. Further refinement of the technology, automatically corrupted on April 19th. Undergoing diagnostic tests, system which may require replacement. Software bug in the object's programming. Termination is required. And to identify the root cause, time object currently offline and undergoing automatically corrupted on April 19th. Log lab shutdown. The date is April 19th, 2137. The director is dead. I am now in command. This is my final report. The rest of this log is for Smythe's eyes only. Ensure it is delivered to his current laboratory of residence. An experiment involving a new cloning technique has failed critically, resulting in a lab shutdown. The state of the lab was unrecoverable at the time I took command. The scientist behind this disaster was the first to be killed by his own creation. Disciplinary action was therefore not possible. They had four test subjects that I have moved into the contamination room. They believe this is for their own safety. The vagrants will act as bait to lure the abomination into the room. 
Once inside, I will subsequently lock the doors, remotely shut down the main power supply, and terminate myself. I hope this course of action is satisfactory, given the circumstances. Be seeing you. Log automatically forwarded to something station laboratory in redacted. Oh no. So the people in the entryway are his friends and family. Hey. Ah, but it's not worth it. These guys. These are the men and women, and uh, apparently some scientists, that Archie was traveling with. They were all killed. Looks like a bunch of soldiers, too. But you know what? We didn't find a key to that terminal in here. I don't know if we're able to find it or not. I'm going to go back to that room and try once more to see if I can find it. That terminal. Right, can't find it. Let's see if I can open it up with console commands. Yep. Okay, upon uh, researching it a little bit, it looks like this terminal is part of a different quest, so we can't actually find the key here. So uh, we'll leave it for now, but then that means that we've done everything. Let's head back to Archie and to the ferryman. Let's see where this takes us. Well, they're probably still there waiting for us. Let's make it quick. Oh. Well, hey, everybody. Archie? You're back. Did you find them? Well, got some bad news. Um, I did. They're in a better place now. I'm sorry. I say... Thanks for trying, and for letting me know. Do you know what happened? I mean, yeah. Let's see, we could lie and say a gas leak. They probably died peacefully. They were torn to shreds by a monstrous abomination. <laughs> Did you sure out? We'll just say those scientists conducted some sort of experiment on them. Oh. oh I feared as much. I just... Didn't want it to be true. Damn. I'm not sure what to do now. I can't stay here forever, I know that. Oh yeah, the ghoul. He went west, I think. Said he was going to St. Paul's Sanctuary. Hmm. That's where I was going to take you. Unless you want to save me the journey, Wayfarer. Since you're headed that way, I ain't much in a fight, but I'm good with locks. Terminals, too. Ooh, maybe master locked terminals? Tell me about St. Paul's Sanctuary. Used to be St. Paul's Cathedral. Been around for youngs. They offer sanctuary to all those who need it. The trouble is getting there. Do you think Lazarus made it? It's possible. He ran faster than I did. I don't need some kid getting in my way. Or, it's too dangerous for you, I'm sorry. I'll take you to St. Paul's, but that's it. Or we could be a decent freaking human being and say, sure, let's travel together. You won't regret it. Let's get out of here. <sighs> Farewell, boy. Don't let this city change you. Wayfarer, if you're ever in Thameshaven again, pay me a visit. We have some important work for you. I just lost Churchill, though. Churchill? I can't have Churchill and Archie? Oh, man. Well, uh, a whole lot is happening all at once right now. We completed a quest and started a bunch more. Fidei Defensor traveled to St. Paul's Sanctuary. Ooh, looks like we're going to get some... Uh, some uh, Arthurian knights or something over there. Scylla, visit the ferryman back in Thameshaven. Oh yeah, we've got Dolls of the Deep. I almost forgot. Let's show that on the map. It's so close to us. Oh, we really got to do that while we're here. We got to do that while we're here. 
Oh, we need to go back uh, and talk to Sid. Okay, gosh, there's just so much. I'm really curious, now that we've got Archie. Hey, anything to say? Let's talk. What's up? What are your thoughts on traveling with me? Can't say I've thought about it much at all, to be honest. Your thoughts? For the capital. You'd figure it'd be more impressive. Your thoughts? Call this sack of bones. <laughs> Your thoughts? Think there's going to be a terminal to hack into. Don't want to get rusty. Your thoughts? I ain't good in a fight, but I am your man for any locks or terminals stopping you. Okay, fine. Well, this is good. This is good, though, because I can lockpick, but I can't do a lot of hacking. So now we've got a hacker. I'm sad that we got to say goodbye to Churchill. He's my best boy, Churchill. Oh... All right, well. We'll uh, track Dolls of the Deep. We need to go to the Mithraeum. That's gonna be just north north of us. If we follow the road north of the Ferryman Dock House, we pass by the monument and it's right there. So that's what we'll tackle next week. I'm really interested to see what sort of answer we get to our questions about <clears throat> this sort of uh, Lovecraftian Cthulhu thing going on here. But that's all I have time for. No, I'm not going to kill the bunny. That's all I've got time for today. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Magic boxes! Three percent! Come on! Seventy-three percent, and I missed both of them in vats. That's Archie. Archie, you okay? Run, run, kid! All right, you freaking mangy foxes. Where'd you? Where'd it go? Where'd the major foxes go? I only killed one of them. Where'd Archie go? He ran. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Archie. <laughs> Archie's just running for his life down the street. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be great. I, I have a feeling this kid is gonna be a uh, comedic genius. Oh my God, we're here already. Wow. Well, there it is. Monument, though. Monument Underground Station. I guess that's gonna be the Mithraeum. Yeah, Monument Underground Station. Investigate the London Mithraeum. Right, well, as I was trying to say before we were so rudely interrupted by foxes, that's all I have time for today. So we're going to save right here and pick up right where we leave off with our next episode. Get some Lovecraftian answers, finally, in this uh, Fallout universe. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you want to see me make more of these, if you like what I do, be sure to send some social signals. What? Well, you don't... It, it was a hooligan. He, wh where'd he go? Where'd he go? What the heck? I can't I can't even end the broadcast properly because things keep happening. Where's the hooligan? There was a dead hooligan here, and I started looting him, and then Archie started talking and he disappeared. What I didn't what? Is it because we're getting close to this creepy place? Yeah, I think it's because we're gonna start seeing some weird stuff. Anyway, share, like, subscribe, comment, and all of that. I gotta go now before anything weir else weird happens. Thanks a bunch for watching. Bye-bye now. What can old Archie do for ya? Can you imagine how posh it'd be to own a gaff like this? We're both on Angel's radar. Better we stick together, I guess. Everyone was keeping up with the Joneses, leaving us plenty to get by with. Any longer in that plane, and my mind might have flown away. London's changed a lot, but the weather's still shite. Talking to people is the best way to find out what's what. Might not be a bad place for a quick kip.
Got a direction in mind for us? Hooligans probably already grabbed the good stuff. You and me? I think there's some fun times ahead. Right, let's keep going. 